Okay, YouTube, this is part two of how to apply to get pet patches to ROM files. And we are using 464 Kirby Edition. If you watched the last part, you do know that we have uh, retrieved the ROM extender folder, which is this one. But I have it in this patching tools folder, so you know, if you watched the last part, you know that I did this part already, and you also know that it's in my ROMs folder. And it's twice the size of the original, so 12 and 12 is 24. I, I'm slow today, or er, tonight because it's late and I'm tired. So here's the extended file that I have from the decompression. <clears throat> Excuse me, my sense. Okay, um, next step of this is to get the tool to apply the patch. Um, first I'm going to show you guys an original gameplay of the f original file so you don't get mixed up. If this is your first time patching uh, a PPF patch to a file, I want to show you that this extended file does not mean that the mod is applied, which you probably that. But for those of you who don't quite understand this, I'm just gonna go into a little more depth. So you open. So the extended file is just the original game. I can go, and it's Mario Brothers. And there's nothing different about it. It's just all. Oh, Old Mario game we all love and go and in and just sit here. Now we're the now it's the original. What this patch will do is it'll take Mario right here completely out of the game and Kirby in his place. So what you're gonna want to do is follow me. You need to get the patching tool, which the link does work here. And it's in your file that I will give you a link to the video for download. So I'll give you a link to the other tool. But the link is in this uh, readme file where it says getting started. You already have the ROM extender because I know this link does not work because I kept giving me 404 not fine. Um, right here. <clears throat> this is, there is a step by step guide in here, but I'm just explaining it. Alright. Um, what you're going to want to do. Is download this file. So I'm just gonna copy the run document. It's in the description too for you lazy people. I, think we're all, I know you're all out there. You don't gotta lie to me. All right. So now we have the link to the next part. The next file we'll need, which is this tool here. This is the PPF Omatic tool. You wanna click on? Just click. Just click on the down now button. Don't worry about this. Just hit this one. Don't 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 be worried. Don't worry about anything else. Don't be bothering that. Again, I'm gonna save it to the patching tools. Which it's already in there. So we're gonna i I'm gonna save it to there. Alright. Um, now same thing. You're gonna need one more to decompress these files. So Here's the folder that contains the uh, PPF Omatic file. Click it. <coughs> Excuse me. Click it. Click it again. You're going to want to decompress this one. So we're going to double click it and extract it. And in this case, we're going to extract it to the same folder of which I left my other stuff in. Patching tools. We're going to click OK. And we're going to click Extract. And then we're done with that. You no longer need your internet browser, so you can close out of it. I already closed out of mine. You now should have two folders in your main folder for these tools. It is the image decompressor file, which is this tool here. Alrighty then. If you paid attention, you know that the, the EXT file has not been patched yet, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, go to this folder, and you want to go to, to this folder, the PDX3 something. You want to go into the PPF Omatic, and you can close the folder because all we need now is this program. Okay. What you want to do is it says ISO file and patch. ISO file is basically an ISO file is an image which an image these things these are images of Super Mario 64 what you're going to want to do is you want the extended version which is this one we're going to patch this version so what we're going to do 
is we're going to go to ISO file, click this button, find our ROMs folder. Now, it says there's no images in here, but wait a second. If I go here, I got images in here. Why can't I find the ROM to extend? Because it's looking for CD images and then N64 game is a, t is a cartridge. So what you have to do is you're going to have to go to, to the CD images and go to all files and they all appear. Do not patch. I already have one extended, but do not patch this one or the zip one. You can't patch the zip one because it won't find it. If you patch this, you'll slip the ROM completely and you won't have it anymore. Just keep that in mind. What you're going to want to do is I'm going to you're going to click the ROM you made. Now it's up here. Now the patch. What you're going to want to do is you cannot patch as I'll show you. You cannot patch zip folders. So I can go and I can try to find my Kirby edition folder, which is this one, and attempt to, here it is, to patch. Nope. This file is not valid PPF file. See users and it tells you the location. What you're going to have to do is go into the folder that has the patch and literally Yes, lazy people, this requires to drag it out of the folder. Alright. Now it should be on my desktop someplace. Someplace, someplace over the rainbow. Alright, there it is. Alright. Now we can go into the desktop and add the file. So, we're going to find the patch. And this is taking a long time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Find the patch right here. So now your patch is applied and your ROM is like what's happening is this patch is going into this file. What you're gonna to want to do is you have all these buttons. Do not click about and do not click quit. Just click apply. And you wait. And if the patch applies itself successfully, you'll get patch successfully applied. Burn image to CD. Now, do you ignore that. You don't have to burn images to any CDs, anything like that. What you're gonna and what you're gonna I don't know what you are. It's probably in there. Alright. <clears throat> What's gonna happen now? Oh wait, are we done? The correct answer is yes. We are done. What you're gonna want to do now is just go into your emulator. <clears throat> now you can choose your ROM directly but it won't this does not work with EX extended files so you literally have to work for to find the file so you're gonna go here and open the one which extended that I showed you earlier in this video that showed Mario well, wait a minute what happens I will warn you as I show you this All right we're gonna open it up I will warn you that when you do this it gets erased or when I first attempted this, it did. So, as you can see, first off, the title screen is different. Hi! Kirby. Um, do not 12. Credit goes to him for making this. What you're gonna wanna do is you start. You're ready to play. In my case, I already had stuff finished on this, but for the first time I launched this, it, um, basically just deleted my press. I don't know if it glitched, but it didn't do it this time. Um, so, you're probably wondering, what did the patch do? Everything looks the same. For those of you who haven't seen this yet, and follow me, we're going to just launch the game and I will show you. We got Kirby now. And I would go full screen, but the camera doesn't record the screen the way I want to when I go into full. So it's the same game except the character has been replaced and te some textures have been changed. But it's not a drastic hack. But it's a major hack since it's the only uh, character replacement hack out there. There's no other replacement hacks. 
and you're probably thinking, is this illegal to be down with files? Uh, first off, I'm going to clarify on this. It's legal as long as you own Super Mario 64, which I have my ears. Um, so, it's legal for me to have this file. Um, don't quote me on this, but I think it's legal if the game's outdated. It's copyright. It all has to do with copyright laws, and I think it's all the same. Once the game is outdated, the copyright laws eventually drop from it. And I just hurt myself there. But copyright from it's all has to do with copyright things and these ROMs from free on file. That's why I can't provide a link to ROMs for you, because it's illegal in the way of our government. If you're in Japan, more power to you, I guess. Um but this patch does work. And I probably will show you another secret emulation in another video but I don't know but as you can see I'm playing as Kirby because Kirby's amazing but that's all you need you're ready to go the Kirby patch is installed if you have any questions you can message me or just comment on it and I'll get to you when I see the comment um just remember that this just a reminder now, since you did, if this is your first time, I'm just clarifying this. Do not patch the ones that do not have EXT on. And then when you're finished, when you've patched it and you know it's ready to go, I recommend reading the file. Whatever you want for this, we'll call it YouTube file. D64. Do not change the .z64 on these there because the computer may get may lose the file, or at least I've been threatened about that several times. Uh, but your computer... Computer won't open it. See? You can't, you can't launch these files without that program running. So, alright. about all there is to it. If you have any questions, you can uh, message me. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, again, links will be provided in the description for the files as well as credit for those providing these files to you for the use of this game. One of my friends playing Gary Mod on Steam down here. Alright. That's it. Links are provided as, long, as well as credit for those providing this. This is Do.12's Super Mario 64 Kirby Edition. And that about does it for patches. Real quick before I go though, I'm going to show you that it works for any image. Um, it works for any PPF patch file you may find. So in this case, I'm just going to go back to YouTube for I'm not gonna take too much more time here. But I'm just gonna this last part of me is just clarifying that it works for any PPF file. Okay. Okay. This is just to show you that it works with any file. Alright. We're gonna go to Dude R twelve website. Um I'm just showing you you can do this with any file. So if you have another PPF image, you're ready to go. Back to this tutorial again, unless you are in your 80s or in your fragile and old and have issues with that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> here we're back at the week again. I'm just going to quickly come on computer, play catch up, will ya? There we go. Sorry about that. Alright. <clears throat> There's also videos down here you can look at and some screenshots too. That I didn't 
I have to mention Kirby Duck Star in this mod. This works for back to the subject though. This works for any um PPS you know he's got dude I always got this. We'll go to old jump, replica and more. Uh well what do I wanna try? We'll do this one with the one. There is a beta one down here. If my gut is on my side, I'm going to assume that this is also a PPF. Alright, well, I'm going to stop this video here and then do my explanation. And if you guys want to see this explanation, you can. Uh, you don't have to. But, eh. All right, that'll be it. I'm going to explain this a little further into detail about what, um, how you know you've found an image, and if you don't want to go that far into it, oh well. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for.